Junius Wells was born in 1859 as a slave, but, he, but his life eventually changed. He became a millionaire. How did he get to that stance? It was the potatoes. Yes, you heard me, potatoes. Okay, let me tell you the rest of the story. It is very, very interesting. Junius Bell started out poor because he was born during slavery. You see, slaves were not paid because they were forced to work for free. He also could not read or do math, but he taught himself how to do both of them. He had to. It was needed for him to be a good business business person. Junius G, as he was called, left Kentucky at the age of 19. This was after slavery had ended and he walked all the way to Armadale, Kansas. Many African Americans were going with because of the new opportunities. Opportunity? That's a big word. It just means a chance of greater success. Blacks want a better life. Junius G worked for other people, but he knew he wanted his own farm. For years, he rented land as a sharecropper, but he saved every extra he could. After years of saving, he and his wife, Maduda, were able to buy 80 acres of land. Eventually, that became 500 acres of land. In that land, he grew potatoes, but also grew fruit trees and other foods. It was special to the people all over the United States, so unique that they let the railroad come to his property so it could get to the crops to sip around the country to Canada and Mexico and needed his produce for food. Curious G built a mansion on his land for his large family. They worked for him too. They helped other black families own land and live better lives. They had a very successful community. His property even included a golf course just for black people since they weren't allowed on golf courses for white people. By 1950, Junius Groves was so successful that he was worth $300,000. That was a lot of money in today's time. That would be equal over seven and a half million dollars. Yes, you heard me correctly. He was he was a multi-millionaire. How did he do it? You wonder. I'm glad you asked. He worked hard. He saved his money. He learned things. He took care of his family and his community. Do you get the picture? He had a really good values. He was a great business person or entrepreneur, I'd say. He had great character and dream big. You can dream big too. Did you learn something? Subscribe to my channel and share my video. Please and thank you.